Is anyone born evil? Answer quickly, no, by definition. Evil implies choice. If one uh, wild animal in the desert leaps on another innocent one and rips him to pieces, that is not evil. He has no choice given a sensory stimuli going after him. And then he goes on, if not, uh, evil people like Jeffrey Dahmer, that's the one that uh, I think uh, had uh, killed a whole bunch of young men uh, that he had or was going to have sexual relationships with. That was long ago. But he's a mass murderer, in fact. Our evil people, like Jeffrey Dahmer, products of the premises and ideas they've embraced. Yes, I say. Yes. He, uh, like any human being, is a product of the ideas that he's embraced consciously or otherwise. Then he says, well, if so, what do you make of the claims of scientists who say they can identify psychopaths by age six. Well, there's no problem between that and free will. Basic premises can go back very early. They can go back to two and three. You can, you can see some clearly basic premises. You can see kids of three who like to smash, say, take a rock and smash some living creature, like a cat, for instance, they get pleasure out of this. This does not mean they're determined to be that way. It means they've developed already by that age a certain hatred, a certain hatred for life, perhaps a jealousy, perhaps the desire for revenge, which they can't distinguish the object of. It is not philosophic uh, determinism. Now, if you found a baby came out of the womb picked up the nurse's scalpel and stabbed her in the chest, I say, there's something different about that baby than uh, this kid at the age of six. But I don't know of kids uh, who do that.